us now. This is what has happened at the orphanage. Uh, Hello. There was a great rumbling and the wood, it came, it, it, it made cracks in the sand and everything went down. place where one lives permanently, especially as a member of a family or a household. It's so much more powerful than just a physical place. Home is family, safety, memory, childhood, and comfort. It's a constant, right? It's the place that you can always fall back to, always return to. We're in the race and we're sliding on this. It's really fun. Do you want to see how we do it? Yeah. Home. The verb. In 1765, to go home from home, meaning the noun, meant to be guided to a destination by radio signals. We are waiting for our flight to go to Sri Lanka. Because if you see... It's like the dogs who are able to return home after being lost for so long, guided by some internal compass that tunes out all the non-home noise and knows exactly where to go. But what about change? What happens to home then? I think there's an organic process that takes place. Step one, you say goodbye to home, you move away. Step two, home is still the place left behind. This new place is temporary. You may casually call it home once in a while, but it's no different from when you say, oh, let's go back home in reference to a hotel room while on vacation. Step three, time passes. Step four, new comfort, new memories, new family. Step five, so where's home? Here. Did you grow up here? No. Are you from here? No. But it's home. 